Second skater from Russia to take the ice, the 22-year-old Mikhail Kolyada from St. Petersburg, the Russian champion, as a matter of fact, had an injury that took him out in 2014-2015, worked his way back, a very good season last year, just missed the podium at the World Championships when he came in fourth place. Now his second trip to the Senior Worlds. Seventh place, about 16 points out of the lead, just under nine points out of bronze medal position. His quads are a bit iffy, but he pulled a quad toe out in the short program, and he's going to try another one. Well, he's starting off this program with oh, whoa, so quad big. Lutz. He's been working on this, and he says it is very iffy, but eh, not a bad, not a bad try, Johnny. It was a beautiful try. Receiving 9.6 points for that just simple attempt. Beautiful quad toe loop to follow it up. Gutsy of him, though, to go for the quad lutz, especially when it's not 100%. That really messes with your confidence, especially when you're under pressure and you feel the nerves of competition. Singling out on a triple axle there. He was the breakout star last year, fourth at the World Championships, and I feel like ever since then, there's probably been a lot of pressure on him to be the leading man for Russia and to keep up to those expectations. Topped his personal best by 20 points last year with that fourth, fourth place finish. And the last time Worlds were held in this city, in this arena, 1999, it was a Russian party. Alexei Yagudin won the gold ahead of Yevgeny Plashenko. It was Michael Weiss of the U.S. who won the bronze. save on that triple axle here in the second half. Johnny, I really feel in Russian men's figure skating. Everyone's trying to live up to the legacy of Kushenko and be the leading man for Russia. And it seems every year it changes. You think, oh, it's it's going to be Kovtun. Oh, it's going to be this guy. It's this guy. It flip-flops. And there needs to be someone that just stands up and takes charge. It is odd that on the ladies' side, it is so talented, so deep. There are so many names. Not so on the men's side. On the junior level this year at the Junior World Championships, the Russian men did quite well. So there is talent in Russia. It's just taking them from the junior level to the senior level. And the senior men are so strong with the likes of Yuzu Rahanyu, Shoma Uno, Javier Fernandez, Nathan Chen doing so many quads that there had to be a time of rebuilding after the Pushenko era. But Mikhail Kalyada has done a great job of remaining consistent. He has a quirky, interesting style. He stayed with the same coach from when he was just in the group levels, which is something rare in Russian skating. After you reach a certain level, oftentimes you move to a big name, Alexei Mishin, Tatyana Parasova, a name like that. But he's chosen to stay, which will stay in his village, <laughs> essentially. 
and he's not playing it safe. He's adding a quad lutz to his program. Brilliant technique. This program needed to be skated clean to really hit the top rafters of the building. But he got a lot of good elements out there. It just kind of went flat. Uneasy is the word that comes to mind from the start. Yes. I mean, when you start off a program and you miss the major element you're hoping to hit, it's hard to recover sometimes. Mikhail Koyada from Russia will get his numbers when we come back to Worlds. Kiss and cry area, Mikhail Koyada, the 22-year-old from St. Petersburg, Russia. Don't know if he can barely watch or he's just meditating a little bit. 164.19, so into second with the free skate score. Needs to get second or higher as we run the numbers right now for Russia to secure two spots. They still could get three, and there you go. He's in the first place. Very well deserved. So Russia with at least two at the Olympics, possibly three. Kovtun, the other one, third place or higher. So we'll keep you posted on that.